here we are again with the uh, Monte Carlo simulation on application to the net present value. This is a typical uh, data values for the net present value. In this particular example, we are going to consider the following values. The initial is investment is going to be 1000. Let's say the cash flow for the first year $200. And let's consider a growth rate, a 5% growth, but with a standard deviation of 1%. So I don't have a, a constant growth. I have a growth with a 5% as a mean and 1% as a standard deviation. The discount rate I'm going to consider for this example is 10%. And the time is going to be 10 years. Then we have here the table for the net present value. Here we have the years up to 10. Then we have the growth rate. For this particular case, we have to consider a growth rate and for the for the Monte Carlo simulation, I am using the normal the invert normal distribution which is the Excel function non invert and the first value is probability which I am using the, the random the second value is the, the mean for this particular case is 5% the third value is the standard deviation of 1% so each year I have a different growth uh, as you can see for example for 2010 I have 4.96 for 2011, 4.42 for 2012, 4.55. So th this is that we are trying to simulate. Here we have the cash flow, initial a thousand dollars, and then starting 2010 two hundred, and then the rest of the cash flow are calculating using the the growth rate. The discount cash flow is basically the utilization of the net present value formula as you can see here the discount cash flow uh, total is just the multiplication for by the factor and the cumulativity is discount cash flow is is the value indicated by the curve by the line is basically calculating uh, to the to the net present value. Here we have the results for the net present value. I have a, a 476. Uh, this is calculating uh, by algebra, and the second one is calculating by Excel function. It's a direct calculation. The internal rate of return is a 19.31 percent. Uh, which is bigger than 10%, so that means like uh, we can accept the project. The productivity index is indicated uh, 1.48, which is bigger one than 1, so we can accept the project. And the payback period is 6.4 years. That means the intersection of the blue line with the X axis of this graph. Here I put some sensitivity analysis on, on different values of the growth just to figure out the value of the net present value. And now we are going to to run the Monte Carlo simulation a thousand times. For this particular example let's build a, a table with a thousand samples. So we put here number one, we're going to build a table, let's go to to series, columns, liner, from one to a thousand, I have here the, from one to a thousand, and the net pressure value, the first value is, is equal to the value up above here, we can choose the B18 or B19 any of them is okay 
so I have the, the, the net pressure value here. Now I'm going to mark this table. I, that is going to be my table on which I'm going to simulate uh, Monte Carlo a thousand times. So we're going to data, we're going to analyze data table. Um, my input column is this net pressure value. And here we have automatically we're going to fill out all the cells from number two to a thousand with a new value of of the net pressure value calculating for the spreadsheet above. Here we have now I create another columns like a the net pressure value rounding just for for a graphical purpose. The the result here we we can we can say with a thousand samples we have a net pressure value with 492.66 as a mean and we have a 23.67 as a standard deviation which is basically 4.7 from the total uh, the minimum is 422 the maximum is 541 and here we can see graphically how is the normal distribution and how are the samples working with the uh, Monte Carlo modeling for this particular example just a quick review here we have the formula for the grow and here we have the formula for the net pressure value thank you